Chapter five, maintain the engine. Your physical and mental health must always come first if you are to maintain a balanced and productive life as an artist. Without your health and well-being, you do not have the physical stamina or the mental clarity to do the work you love. Artists are notorious for ignoring their health. I have encountered many artists who routinely take risks with their materials, neglecting to use proper ventilation or protective gear. A startlingly high percentage of artists have suffered permanent disabilities, nerve or immune system damage, or even died from using toxic materials and practices. But it's not just the improper handling or use of toxic materials that can damage artists' health. It can be subtler forms of ignoring the needs of the body, not making time to eat well, exercise regularly, or get adequate rest. Artists can be prone to overworking. Most have some kind of a full or part-time employment outside of their art practice. To make sure they get studio time, they may put in long hours before or after their day jobs. They love what they do so much it can be intoxicating and hard to stop working. Trying to fit too much into our schedules creates undue stress. Stress is the leading cause of health problems in the US. Each artist must negotiate a workable balance between studio time, work, family, play, and rest. Just because you have a full-time employment or are occupied with raising family doesn't mean you can't make a significant body of work. There are countless examples of artists and writers who created whole bodies of work while raising children or working full time. Many a full length book has been written in 30 to 60 minute daily increments. It is important to remember that your physical body is the engine that drives the machine. If you don't value taking excellent care of yourself in the long run, the work may suffer. You may become exhausted, lose focus and mental clarity and become less productive. I've seen artists who are unable to maintain a consistent studio practice rely upon upcoming shows and deadlines to push themselves to work long, exhausting hours only to burn out and collapse afterwards. Perhaps the adrenaline rush of having a deadline and rushing to complete it are exhilarating, but the long-term effects of such cycles can be damaging to the body. Scheduling in non-negotiable time for exercise or movement, whatever you like to call it, eating healthy meals, and seeking quiet, reflective time all help to create a happier, healthier, saner artist who can joyfully meet the physical and mental challenges of the work. So I'd like to know from you, tell me some examples that you've heard of uh, artists who had um, other work besides making their art and how they manage. That could be a writer, a choreographer, um, sculptor, photographer, poet, who, wh whoever. I love hearing these stories and the, there are so many of them. So tell me who, someone that you know. I mean, there's some famous ones like Le Douanier, um, Henry Rousseau, Henri Rousseau. He was a customs agent <laughs> and he painted on the side. There's a wonderful film of, um, the artist Ruth Asawa that I just adore. And I think um, she and her husband had six children and she's in her studio making these wonderful wire sculptures that she did. And there's about at least five kids like spinning around her just doing, she's perfectly focused doing her work. I mean, not everyone can do that, <laughs> but I found it quite remarkable and inspiring. So, um, also share if you are balancing things and how that's working for you or if you're not and what you would like help with. What would, what would help you? What would you like in order to be able to balance that? Is it some shift you need to make? Is it some outside support? So if you're already balancing, share with us about that. If you need more balance and this rung true with you, Think about something that you might be able to shift or some help you might be able to get, how you could shift things around to have more balance and to be able to maintain the engine. So um, please share this video with anyone you think could benefit from this. I would really appreciate that and I know they would too. Also, 
Um, if you want to listen to the previous ones, we have a playlist, so you can just click on that and I'll be adding and uploading videos as we go along. So I'm going to read the entire book. If you actually want a physical copy of this book, you can buy it on Amazon. There's a link below or you can download it for free on the mindfulartist.com. All right. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful, creative, productive week. Love you.